We are finally back to our favorite island in the Caribbean, St. Thomas, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. We have been coming here for the last six years and we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If you're new here, my name is Camilla and I make travel series from all over the world here on my YouTube channel. If you've been sleeping on this island, it's now time to add it to your bucket list destinations. If you need help planning your trip, I got you covered. With over 10 episodes from this island showing you the best accommodations, beaches, restaurant guides, and activities, I guarantee you will be 100% prepared to book your flight after binge watching this series. In today's episode, I'm bringing you guys on a beautiful boat trip around the Virgin Islands and I'll show you two new islands we've never been to. Pack your bikini and snorkel gear, jump on board and let's go! We're on one of our first days here in St. Thomas. We are back Good and mission. we are about to meet our favorite person in all of Virgin Islands. <laughs> See you guys! Hello! <laughs> our favorite person in all of Virgin Islands. I got my hands full. If you've been watching my other episodes from St. Thomas, you've probably seen our good friend Christian before. He's so knowledgeable about the USBI and surrounding region, and we always make sure to see him when we're in town because we know it's a guaranteed good time. If you ever want to go on a boat trip and island hop while you're here, I 100% recommend to go with him. He's also great for families with kids, and I'll leave his website and contact info in the description below. Before we headed over to our first stop of the day, we were slowly cruising around the shore of St. Thomas while Christian was telling us about new developments in the area. The island is still not fully recovered from the last big hurricanes in 2017 that left St. Thomas and St. John without electricity and water for months. So it makes me incredibly happy to see new business up and running. While checking out the new restaurant on Sapphire Beach, we ran into one of Christian's friends. I mean, how cool and effortless does that look? You're a little rusty there. You gotta work on your form. If you get hungry while you're on the boat, you definitely have to stop by the place we're taking you to now. I've never seen anything like it. Look how blue this is. It's so blue. Oh, it's turquoise. <laughs> and maybe some bits a little navy blue, but it's turquoise. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm on a boat. I'm loving it. I'm on a boat. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in Christmas Cove, the backside of Great St. James, a private island. And usually what we do is we'll go, we'll snorkel around the little cave there, and at the same time we'll be waiting for the pizza at the pizza boat that we pre-order. Awesome spot to come to, relax, get in the water, and then have pizza on the water. That is a really cool experience. <laughs> you see those guys right behind you? Just having a good time making gourmet pizza. <laughs> yeah, they're doing it really well. Do you have kids coming on the boat to eat pizza? All the time, that's all they want. <laughs> I could have stayed in this cove for hours. This must be some of the bluest water in the world. But for me to continue my quest to show you as many islands as possible, we had to keep going to the next spot. Okay guys, so we just pulled up to Hans Lollig Island. 
and this is an island that we've been seeing from all our Airbnbs we've ever stayed at and we've always wanted to come here and now finally we are here and I'm so excited like there's nobody here if you want to come to this island you can definitely hit up Christian and he will help you Christian's boat is right there he took us to the island it was not that hard to get here and we were able to bring our bags here and now we are here just relaxing the only thing here is us some chicken some goats and one beach chair let me show you here for so long and now we're finally here and I like I wish I could bring my family all my friends here just to see how beautiful this is because honestly the camera does not do justice and I'm gonna try my best to show you some drone shots and show you this place but enjoy the footage of this place such a special moment for me. Visiting a deserted island in the Caribbean, how can't that be everyone's dream? When we got hungry, we headed back to civilization and I'm so excited to show you where we're going next. got to Lavongo Bay and I've been wanting to come here for a while now and it's basically this island where you can come for day trips but yeah you can actually stay on this island they have cabanas and stuff that you can stay up there and then there's two bars here and there's a big lounge area so yeah it's 10 minute ferry ride from St. John and St. Thomas and this is our first time here and I'm excited. The kitchen unfortunately closed right when we got here. I just talked to Jake, an employee that works here, and he said this is one of their slowest days they've had this whole month, which is perfect for me when I'm filming. I won't be able to catch the vibe specifically, but I'll show you how it looks. Today is Monday, but on a weekend it's usually packed. He says they have around 50 to 70 people on a daily. Yeah, let me show you a little bit more how it looks because yeah, this place is stunning and I'm so happy Christian took us here. They don't have many rooms at Lavongo, so you should book early if you want to stay there. After we had some drinks, we headed back to the boat and snorkel around for a while. The water here is so clear and warm, so you can swim around forever. After some regular snorkeling, Christian suggested that we try his subway. Subway 101. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Cool. You see the bridle right here? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is a safety line. You could always grab this line for safety, meaning if you ever have to release your hands. So uh -huh. then once you are comfortable enough and you're ready, uh -huh. you aim down. And I can go under. And then you go underwater. Okay. So it's a 10-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> can you do that? Let's do it. Flying underwater. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm so excited to see this. <laughs> do it. Hey, <laughs> see you later, man. Good luck. Good luck. So we're now a guinea pig, right? Wow, I'm no fucking guinea pig. <laughs> and Renell and I did, and it was so much fun. Unfortunately, my SD card with the GoPro footage failed and I lost everything. But it literally looked something like this. Maybe minus the dolphin. But yeah, that pretty much sums up our day trip with Christian. We ended a day in St. John where we ate and had drinks in Cruise Bay with friends. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and if you're in the Virgin Islands, booking a boat trip should definitely be on your list. If you need recommendations on where to stay on St. Thomas, you can check out last week's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and in the next episode, I'll give you an updated top things to do in St. Thomas episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done that. It really makes a difference. 
Thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.